Thank you, Eva, to, for invitation and for this honor that I uh, have to speak at this conference. I would like to present all these uh, uh, matters in a nutshell, and then maybe I will elaborate on certain topics which are very close to my heart, but I don't know whether I can develop them maybe during our discussion. As Eva has said, and has introduced me. Uh, I am a citizen of two countries, uh, and I have two passports, and I can vote in two countries. Uh, I am uh, uh, I am a daughter of Poland and adopted child of France, and I would like today share with you my observations, my information on the situation that is happening in France. So what shall I start from? I would like to tell you that France is a country which is very controversial. This is the country uh, uh, where in which it is not good to talk about changes in Poland. So if it is mentioned, if, 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 if those changes are mentioned, so it is only kind of critical comment, but it is also a country in which we pray to the Polish saints. And then now we prayed on the 1st of November to John Paul II and the Faustina Kowalska. And I think that during today's discussion, it, it really matters. And I just listed the most important matters that I would like to, to tackle. And it's on the list in front of me. And I gave the title to my short message to you with such a sentence. First of all, France. It means the third alternative. Beautiful, friendly, hospitable France. France that we have known and that we would like to save. And this France is on the most unexpected turn in the history. Can it stop the Islam, Islam which is present in all spheres of life? So it means it's not only removing pork in the school canteens. It is not only wearing clothes, which we are afraid of. This is not only silent acceptance of polygamy. This is not uh, only ignoring women. So these forms of Islam that I have quoted for a long time did, were not uh, surprising, and no one was uh, uh, worried about it, neither politicians. At this moment, this country, which is so rich, uh, uh, faced civil war. And on the 13th of November, meaning tomorrow, we will we will have the first anniversary of Bataclan slaughter and at the end at the end of my speech i propose one minute of silence so I would like us to commemorate uh, all those uh, innocent victims. We cannot uh, stop only paying the tributes. We have to be active, and we have to also release uh, energy in the French uh, nation, courage and trust and belief. Uh, maybe it's not too late. Maybe it would be possible to stop uh, the cynical and the powerful religious acts uh, killing uh, the innocent people. Maybe we can stop this war, which is in progress. Uh, maybe we can defend ourselves against uh, Islam. 
The red light was shown in all parts of the country and in all spheres of social life. We remember Calais, pa 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 Paris, Marsilia, Nice. Only belief and courage and the truth will give this release for France from all that terror. My observations, for over 100 years, the political system is working in order to reinforce uh, the so-called secular religion in which there is no presence for God. This religion was based upon three uh, mottos. Uh, equality, brotherhood, and uh, but now we cannot see any signs of them. Censorship, so uh, the fear against uh, terrorism and more and more restrictions regarding freedom of speech, more forbidden topics. Censorship operates even uh, not uh, giving any illusions. I brought the book Eric Zimur, which was not translated into Polish yet. I don't know whether it will be translated. Welbeck was translated like slavery. I think we all know this book. Eric Zemur, this is a journalist who is totally outside media. All his books are censored. And his activity is based on uh, on this that he travels around uh, France and meeting people. Uh, he, translate, he he explains to them uh, how he conveys uh, the, his message or the content of his uh, books uh, to the public. So the rooms are filled up with uh, uh, listeners, but there is no promotion, there is no uh, information. So 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 just someone has to know uh, where such conferences are held. Uh, with the presence of Eric Zimur, uh, and there are also other people fighting for freedom and fighting for truth. But unfortunately, in media, uh, and this political in, in this uh, in this political correctness we cannot find any information on it all the journalists uh, uh, and those who propag who, who are, are the propagators of freedom of speech are uh, not uh, included in media as for free media uh, which uh, also uh, are in Poland and those free media which which uh, in majority cases contributed to this, that the elections were conducted, were controlled and conducted properly. And uh, such uh, uh, effect, such uh, optimistic uh, uh, effect for us. In France, the situation is completely different. Media, independent media, of course, exist, but those media are financed by uh, our Eastern brother. It means are totally pro-Russian. I cannot maybe give you even one example of totally independent media liberated from any Russian influences. I brought two uh, magazines, uh, two titles, one title, uh, I mean one title about two uh, newspapers. Uh, so maybe you could have a look at these two uh, magazines. So it means uh, what uh, is in France uh, now before elections, and here we can we can see Putin as a Christian man, as a fighter against Islam. So this is the civil. What it means? Shall we be afraid of it? And Putin. This is the this is the Putin portrayed as a patriot, a Christian, and anti-Islamist. 
So these are this is this is the right wing uh, mag these are the right wing uh, magazines and we can read interesting articles in them uh, also some business related uh, issues uh, and they are presented uh, based on uh, true facts but as for the geopolitics as for the neutrality and a neutral look at the political uh, settings. It is, uh, it is. So this is what uh, people in France uh, have now. So you know that now the election is coming, and uh, many things can happen. Um, so many good things can happen, and French people rely on this. But uh, I would like to tell you that among many candidates for presidential posts in France, among them two, three, I don't know, maybe there are 30 of them, but two, three of them say that they are Catholics, that they are, that they are God believers. But nobody actually mentions not, uh, mentions uh, about uh, about uh, relations, clear relations with Russia. So you would like to be well prepared for elections. You would like to change situation. And many French people want it. But there is no clear message conveyed. So I will have also my colleague discussing other issues. And I would like also to mention at the end of my presentation about education. I am myself for eight years. I've been running an independent school of Polish language and Polish culture. It's the complementary education to the uh, main um, education. So our children from from mixed marriages they come to my school. So we have kind of an enclave in we, in which we would like to create a kind of uh, um, kind of uh, symbol. Uh, a part of Poland and just this conveyance of truth. Um, I would like maybe to tell you even more about it during this discussion part, but uh, I would like to share with you also one more observation that in France, education, as it is probably everywhere in all European countries, this education should be changed uh, so that uh, all changes and transformations and to make them happen first of all we have to start uh, from from uh, educational reform and maybe at this point i will i will uh, end my uh, uh, my speech but i hope that maybe during the discussion uh, i will i can elaborate on some issues that i have tackled